I'm Gary. And I'm Catherine. And this weekend we're taking a Reba camper into the forest. Actually, we're going to Delamere Forest. As you can see, this is the Delamere Forest walking trails. There's five different walks. I think we'll do the 6.5 miles. That's just about nice to walk. Some of the other ones are a bit too short. The Hunger Hill one, that's not too bad. I remember when I was around eight, nine or ten years old, my mum and dad used to take myself and my brother to Delamere Forest. It was a, a great day out. There was um, a lot of walking to do and you tended to find picnic tables um, next to the roads and you'd park at the side of the road, you'd go for your walk and come back and have your picnic. Well, a lot has changed since then. There's been a £9 million redevelopment project uh, which was commissioned by Forestry England and there's no car parking for 500 cars. I was quite surprised to find that there's also bands playing uh, this summer. Uh, we've got uh, Noel Gallagher's uh, I Flying Birds, we've got the Rag and Bone Man Keen and, we've, and there's Texas. There's lots of activities which are ideal for the winter. So you've got cycling and mountain bike riding trails You've got running trails, you've got the Delamere Park Run, um, and horse riding too. So stay with us and we'll see you later. So we've got the drone batteries on charge, and also the DJ Pocket uh, Mini for filming. There's the drone, all packed, and with the legs extended. Just arriving now during my lunch hour, at the storage, uh, there's somebody who lives on site 24-7 as security, but they know us anyway. There's Beatrice in the corner, she looks like she's got no friends there. That's how we store whilst we're travelling with the door closed, tables and things uh, secured. We do close the fridge door or the bed in there at the back. Very technical overflow warning system there, as you can see. We just do the water tank test and also the battery. No time to purge the tanks, flush the water through. Both hot and cold. Same for the bathroom as well. The sink top bounces off whilst travelling so we just put it into the wardrobe.
20 minutes to just close up all the valve, fill up the, uh, the water tank, flush the system through to get water fully in the system, uh, do a little bit more work from home this afternoon and hopefully around maybe 4.15 we'll be setting off to Delamere Forest. Speak to you later. So we've just arrived at the site now, we're all plugged in, unpacked and ready. Just about to um, uh, put the uh, rear bed setting down, all the cushions across and just going to uh, put the sheets on and make the bed so we can just sit down and relax, have a couple of drinks and get something to eat. So I did a little notice above the door so we won't bang our heads and a little canvas of Beatrice. We put the heating on just to take the chill off the camper. A nice cup of tea before bed after watching a decent Netflix. Was it? Good morning, everybody. So we arrived late last night, uh, the first thing uh, we, we met the uh, fellow at the gate, this is a camping and caravan club site, uh, he told us that none of the facilities are open, everything's been refurbished, some of the people on the site have been told we hadn't, anyway um, we, we won't let that spoil our weekend, we've got all the facilities on board here. I'm just having a look up at the sky and judging the wind and I'm wondering, I'm sort of 50-50 as to whether we should get the drone up. I think we'll be alright. Just a quick look around the Ariba camper. So I did take the drone up and I tried to move forward a little bit closer to the visitor centre but at 400 feet the wind was so strong I 
just couldn't push the levers forward, so I decided to press return home. The drone wouldn't return home and we did have a little bit of trouble bringing it back again. And you can see just how close the visitor centre is to the actual caravan site. We're just about to walk to the visitor centre at uh, Delamere Forest. <laughs> and this is the gate at the bottom of the caravan site. I'm going on that, you can't stop me. Go on, you see, oh, look, you got the swings, look. <laughs> Go on. That's it. Snap! <laughs> That's what we did when we were younger. And then ended it snapped while somebody was over the river and they fell straight in. Go on, have another go. Just get on it. Anybody think you was a kid? <laughs> We've no idea where we're going. <laughs> we're just walking between trees. <laughs> Ah, so we've just picked up on a trail, albeit a very muddy one, but it's still a trail. Good news. You can hear the train in the background, uh, which takes you straight into Chester. All right, go ape. The Stellamere Forest is great for cycling, they even have a cycling wash-off point. Well there's no shortage of parking, there's enough room for 500 cars. You do have to pay but for using this as a base, for getting out and walking or cycling, it's well worth the money. Not sure, a cafe. So these are trail starts. There's a different one though, there? So we've decided, rather than do the longest trail, we've decided to do the, the red trail, which is two hours, and then we'll see how we go from there. So as part of the forest regeneration project you can see here that there's little trees which have been planted 
and if you want to take part in that forest regeneration project you can volunteer you just call them or call down at the site and speak to the people at the reception area Have you seen anything you like? No, not yet. Okay. So we have a dilemma. Is it jam first or cream first? Comment in. No chance. No chance. Would you believe? Yes. I would as well. Oh, I think it's lovely. I think it's really nice. There's a co-op there. We can go there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Do you like it? Yeah, I just like how it's set out. It's lovely. Yeah. And then I think it's set back in there. Spa here. Yeah? Off license. Should we try that? Just go there, yeah. Might have been big enough, won't it? Yeah. Well, you can pick what you want. We can actually park up here. Uh, maybe, well, it might not be. Why can't you park there? I'm not really sure. I think you can park here. Customer parking, here we go. Mm. Anyway, this is what we brought back and we had a few nibbles before the Master Chef kicks into action. Anyway, last night was one of the noisiest rainy nights we could ever have. There's so much rain, it was really, it was banging, it was like hailstones banging on top of the roof. Woke up there four or five times. Anyway, we'll be going home today and we'll all be getting some good sleep. A simple egg on toast breakfast just before we set off home. And that's it for this weekend, our trip to Delamere and Delamere CNC Seaside. I'll start again. And that's it for this weekend, our trip to Delamere Caravan and Camping Club site. Hope you like our video. See ya. See ya. Bye bye. And we have some great trips coming for 2022. If you like our videos, please subscribe, click like, comment in, and we'll answer all your comments. Thanks very much.